Praise the Lord, God Almighty, from whom all blessings flow. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Having a little technical difficulty this evening. The system doesn't want to work correctly. It just shut down on me. The Sling Studio I usually use each week is not working correctly, but nevertheless, I'm going to go forward with what we have, which is uh, Facebook Live on the computer, praise the Lord. So I pray that you are ready to receive the, the word of God tonight, that you have been prayed up and expecting God to speak to you by his Holy Spirit. Sometimes we get frustrated when things just doesn't work out. And I tell you, it's a task, it's a challenge. But nevertheless, God is still good. His mercy endures forever. Amen. So Lord God, tonight I thank you for this time to share your word once again, oh God. I thank you for your goodness and your mercy towards us, your children. I thank you for the peace of God and the power of God working in our lives to will and to according to your good pleasure. Forgive us for our sins, known and unknown, God, and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Saturate your anointed powers by your grace, O oh God. Keep us steadfast in the faith of Jesus Christ. For we know, Father God, apart from you, we can do nothing. Father, you are faithful, and you, Father God, you keep us daily, Father, from danger, seeing us seen. I'm asking God tonight that you speak by your spirit, Father God, to empower us with your word, O oh God, to convict to reprove, to chastise, to correct, and perfect us, O oh God, to make us more uh, righteous stewards, to serve you and to follow your commands, your ordinances, Father God, with whole heart, mind, body, soul, will, emotions. May I say you will cleanse us from the business of the day, remove, O oh God, every distraction, every hindering spirit, everything the enemy tries to do to alter the plan of God in our lives and give us free access to hear from you, and we give you glory, honor, and praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen, amen again. I tell you, God is so good. His mercy does endure forever. We're living in a time where people are just falling away from the faith every day. Every time you turn on the news, there's a tragedy. Every way you, you look, there's something going on that's not right. And tonight, we just come to seek the Lord in his word. Good, good evening. God bless you, Sister Jenica. Amen. God bless you. We we come to seek God in his word tonight because we know man should not live by bread alone, but every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. As I stated in the beginning, um, the system crashed. I mean, tonight I usually use the multitask with different screens, but I'm going to go on the way God has instructed me to do to teach his word because I tell you, I have really been blessed by this word. It brought me insight into my own life to allow the change to take place in my own heart. Because so many times we, we, we find ourselves tested and tried and proven and we feel short because we, we allow the enemy to bring us to a place of baiting us and luring us from our promise, even from our our walking in God's purpose and what he has for our lives. It's up to you and I every day to recognize the enemy's uh, his, his temptations, his trials, his tests, to recognize the things that he tried to do to cause you to sin against God. We all have been called by God to work in the kingdom of God as stewards of the gospel of Jesus Christ. The word says we all have been called as able ministers of the gospel. And as an able minister of the gospel, it's up to you and up to me to know what I'm called to do and to walk worthy of that vocation. That may put it in high honors in my heart to, to allow that calling to identify and even to lift me up in Christ Jesus that he would get the glory out of my life. Amen. So tonight we're going to pick up, we talked about last week, the spirit of whoredom. We left off talking about that and the characteristics of how the enemy would cause us to get into an entrapment to fall after the whoredom of the world, which is, which is our uh, leads to idolatry. Anything that's not of faith is sin. Anything that's not of faith is sin. Our key scripture tonight is in uh, Revelation chapter 2. Let's turn there. Revelation chapter 2. 
26. Uh, actually, 25. It says, But that which ye have already, hold fast till I come. But you go up before that. He says, But I but unto you I will say, and to the rest in, in Thyatira, as many have not this doctrine, and who have not known the depths of Satan, as they say, I will put upon you no other burdens. But then he says, But that which ye have already hold fast till I come. So in other words, we're already burdened down with society and the things the enemy tries to put on our lives to keep us in distraction, to keep us from walking in the truth of God's word. God says, I'm not going to burden you with anything else. But even though I have to rebuke you, I'm still letting you know I love you, I care for you, I'm still here for you. But he said, but you hold fast. That means don't lose your faith, but continue to trust in God's leadership by the power of the Holy Spirit. Until Christ comes again for his bride without a spot or wrinkle. But then he goes on verse 26. He that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations. I will give him power over the nations. He shall rule with a rod of iron as the vessel of a potter shall be broken to shivers even as I have received from my father. Then he says, I will give him the morning star. He that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the church. So Christ is making known to us as the body of believers that he wants us to rule and have dominion over all the nations of the world. The kingdoms of the world is to us our rulership as we learn how to allow him to lead and guide and direct us in his truth. When we get into God's word and allow the word to uh, become life to us in our spirits, it not only impacts us and behooves us to really recognize the leadership that we have in our hearts, but also identify the calling on your life and walk in that calling with, with a heart that's surrendered to the Lord Jesus Christ. We can't reign over anything in this world if we can't rule over our own bodies. He that has no rules over his body is like a, a, a city broken down without walls. So in other words, I'm vulnerable, I'm susceptible to any attack that anyone brings against me. When I don't have any type of control over my thought life, over my attitude, over my mouth, over my life, I cannot rule over the nations if I can't rule over my own house. But he makes it clear he said, but he, he said, and he that overcometh, overcome what? The spirit of Jezebel. We've been talking about this for the longest. The spirit of Jezebel, the spirit of whoredom, the spirit of manipulation, the spirit of control, the, the appetite of the flesh that causes you to get into a dark place of unfaithfulness and adultery, chronic dissatisfaction, the spiritual prostitution, fornication, idolatry, set of appetites, worldliness, these characteristics of idol worship, false religion. He said, if you overcome these things, he says, I will give you the power over the nations. Wow, that's good. That's really good. The word says the just shall live by faith. Romans chapter 1 verse 17. The just shall live by faith. Faith is one of the godly attributes that defeats the seductive enticements of the spirit of Jezebel. Our faith must be in God and his ability to feed, nourish, and care for us. Trusting in money, other relationships, other activities is idolatry. We talked about this last week. We ended with this last week. By trusting in his ability to care for us, we lift Jesus higher and that always defeats the enemy. We lift Jesus higher that always defeats the enemy. Glory to God, I tell you, God is so good. He is so good. His mercy endures forever. Praise the Lord God Almighty from whom all blessings flow. Someone just asked me about Google Meet and I can't get to it tonight because of the system failure. 
But we have to recognize the enemy when he comes to test us. Because God has the power to keep you secure in his presence only if you allow him to. We have to walk by.